there have been really two major improvements in treatment that are translating through to improve survival. Uh, the main one is introduction of a, a class of drugs we call PARP inhibitors. Um, and I was fortunate enough to be involved in some of the early research on those drugs. Originally, we thought they would only work in women with hereditary ovarian cancer. But through the research that we and others did, we demonstrated that they would have activity in half, maybe even two thirds of women with high grade ovarian cancer. And I'm delighted to say that two of those drugs are now available freely on the NHS for women at the time of diagnosis. And the third one um, is likely to become available uh, in the next few months. We know that those drugs can definitely delay the time for cancer to come back and may improve cure rates. It's very proving that something cures more women actually takes a surprisingly long time. It takes years to prove it. But certainly the evidence is in, in a selection of women with high grade ovarian cancer, these drugs called PARP inhibitors have made a big difference and we think will improve cure rates. The other big um, advance we've made is understanding the role of surgery. So when you were first diagnosed, Felicity, clearly you had surgery. All women with ovarian cancer, if possible, should have an operation, but it's not as any operation. You need to be operated on by surgeons who really, really know what they're doing and in surgical centers of excellence. But as we know that the, the better an operation a woman has for ovarian cancer, the better things are going to go in the long term. Um, and again, I'm very fortunate of working at the Ovarian Cancer Action Research Center and my colleagues at Hammersmith Hospital, where we've really taken ovarian cancer surgery to the next level. Um, and that's something that we're appreciating and trying to spread that message and that practice around the country. So good things have happened. Boy, do we need, we need to do a lot more, but certainly it's not all negative news. There's lots of good things that have happened um, and I'm glad to say that more women are doing better with ovarian cancer, but we still have a long way to go.